What's up guys, Tanmay here for Simple Snippets, back with another video tutorial on C++ programming. In this program, we'll print the Fibonacci series. So, what exactly is a Fibonacci series? Let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so the question here is we need to print the Fibonacci series. So, Fibonacci series is as follows. So, initially there are two numbers, 1 and 2. Or we can start it from 0 as well. So, the third number is the sum of the first two numbers. So, 0, 1, then we would get 1. Now, the next number after this 1 would be the previous two numbers and its sum. So, 1 plus 1 will give 2. Now, 1 plus 2 will give us 3. Similarly, 2 plus 3 will give us 5 and so on and so forth. So, this is called a Fibonacci series wherein the next value depends on the summation of previous two numbers. So what we are going to do is we are going to take the number of terms to be printed from user and we will print the Fibonacci series as follows. So let's first create the variables. So I will create int num. We know that the first value is always going to be 0 because it starts from 0. We know the second value is going to be 1. So that is the reason why I am hard coding or already initializing the, these values. And I will create one more variable known as next. Now I will ask the user to enter the number of terms he wants to be printed. Take that number from user in the num variable. And now let's go ahead and print the Fibonacci series. So I will type in Fibonacci series and this is a problem wherein we have to create a for loop. So I will write for int i equals to 0 and i less than the num that is entered by the user. So the entered number is going to be the number of terms which we want to print. So i has to be less than that and we will say i plus plus. Now I will say C out and print the value of the variable named first and I will type in endl to get the cursor on the next line. Now I initialize the next variable as first plus second. The first variable now becomes the second variable and the second variable becomes the next variable. So it's a bit confusing but I'll explain and we'll dry run this code as well. So let's see if this works properly. Let me just go ahead and compile and run this code. It's asking enter the number of terms. So let's enter four terms. So we want four terms to be printed. So as you can see the four terms are printed 0, 1, 1, 2. So the first number is 0, the next is 1 and the next number is 0 plus 1 which is 1. Then we have 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2. So the Fibonacci series is correct and so let's see how this works. So as the num was entered 4, so in the for loop First, the number printed is 0 because we have initialized it as 0. So the output here is 0. Now the next value, we haven't initialized it yet. So which that would be first plus second. So that would be 0 plus 1 which is equal to 1. Again, we change the first value to second. Now we know the second value is initialized to 1 and first is 0. So here the first value gets updated to 1 and second value is again updated to the next which is just now updated to 1. So these are the changes that happened in first iteration. Now in the second iteration this i value is incremented which was 0 now it is 1. So it will check if i is less than num. We know num was entered as 4. So 1 is less than 4. 
hence again this entire loop will be executed so this time the first value the latest first value is equal to 1 so this time 1 will be printed the next value would be first plus second which is 1 plus 1 which is going to be 2 similarly the first value is going to be updated to second so you know the first value was updated to 1 and the second value was updated to 1 as well so this would remain 1 and the second value would be updated to 2 because the value of next which was 2 is now copied in the second variable now again the num is checked with the i value and this time the i value is 2 which is again less than 4 so again this loop will be executed and similarly this time it will again print as 1 and so on and so forth the loop will go on executing till the i value is less than num once the i value is incremented and it's greater than num or equal to num it will exit the loop and we will have our required series so let's go ahead and try to run it again and this time we'll print a big series so the number of terms we want this time is 7 so as you can see 7 elements are printed of the series 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 so each number is addition of the previous two numbers and that is why it is a correct Fibonacci series so that's it for this video I hope you understood how the Fibonacci series logic works don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share the video peace